The Kiln Garden Centre, Stanmore, near Harrow, Middlesex, was completely redeveloped by Easter 2001 by owner and managing director Rory Caffin Parsons of Caffin Parsons Limited and renamed Gardens Etc. This involved the construction of 1,663 square metres of brand new garden centre buildings on a 3.37 acre site. The architects, interior designers and graphic designers were HPW Partnership of Southampton and the project manager and architect for the overall project was Gordon Shackell. The garden centre design was a new concept which brought home and garden ever closer and recognised that the garden was a reflection of lifestyle. The site was in the London Metropolitan Greenbelt, next to Harrow and Weald Common, and was therefore subject to some very stringent town and country planning constraints. The area of the new buildings was not to exceed the area of the motley collection of very tired older buildings that previously occupied the site of the old garden centre, and were now to be demolished and completely replaced. The visual impact of the new buildings, when seen from Harrow and Weald Common, was not to exceed that of the older buildings. This meant that the new buildings must be set back from the common, and in the same vicinity as the older buildings, and separated from the common by a car park for 201 cars. The new buildings were to be no higher than the existing buildings. The main entrance was emphasised by a strong, feature-bespoke, 14-metre diameter, full-height, two-storey glass rotunda, double-glazed with Pilkington Arctic Blue solar control glass, inclined at 85 degrees. This stunning blue glass rotunda would act as a visual fulcrum and would be visible from three sides, that is, from the access driveway upon arrival and from the various areas of car parking to the north and west. At the entrance, customers would be greeted by a 3 metre diameter glass entrance drum draft lobby with curved automatic sliding doors. To reduce the solar heat gain further, the rotunda required external aluminium brie-soleil sun louvers and some mechanical extract ventilation in the roof. There would also be automatic external sliding doors elsewhere for customers. The development site area was 13,639 square metres or 3.37 acres. The garden centre building would be 1,203 square metres. The pets and aquatics building would be 440 square metres, giving a total building area of 1,643 square metres. The proposed polytunnels would occupy some 477 square metres. A cafe restaurant would have a total of 142 covers, that is 70 indoor covers and 72 outdoor covers. The project would include an extensive outdoor plant sales area of some 897 square metres. In the car park there would be bicycle stands for six bicycles. The proprietary building structures would be by Ultraspan Limited, clad with baggerage selected red multi-bricks, aluminium framed glass or polycarbonate twin wall glazing, and 
Kingspan insulated composite steel panels. For heating, there would be a gas-fired, low-pressure hot water underfloor heating system throughout. For ventilation, there would be automatic opening, glazed, roof ridge ventilators throughout the sales area, which would provide maximum natural ventilation in the summertime. For lighting, apart from the roof lights, there would be a high level of quality artificial lighting to high street retail standards. At the entrance to the estate of Common Road are some steel gates designed by architect Gordon Shackell. And there is extensive soft landscaping at the entrance, along the driveway and to the car park, designed by award-winning landscape designer Julie Toll. All stages of the design process were carefully monitored by the client, Managing Director Rory Caffin Parsons of Caffin Parsons Limited, who owned at least three garden centres at that time. Via Building Services were both the main building contractor and the shop fitter. John Davies was the site manager. The proprietary building structures were by Ultraspan Limited. The steel frame was clad with baggerage selected red multi bricks aluminium framed glass or polycarbonate twin wall glazing and Kingspan insulated steel composite panels. Into the rotunda was installed the 3 meter diameter glass entrance drum draft lobby with its curved automatic sliding doors. The total construction and fit out value was about 1.7 million pounds. The buildings were handed over before Easter 2001 and opened by celebrity, horticulturist, presenter Monty Don and the owner and managing director Rory Caffin Parsons. Gardens etc. Formerly known as the Kiln Garden Centre welcomed hundreds of enthusiastic gardeners to its doors when the garden centre reopened to the public on Wednesday the 11th of April 2001. Gardens etc. was widely considered one of the most exciting and forward-thinking garden centres in London. Rory Caffin Parsons said, We had always planned to open in time for Easter, despite the wettest winter on record, and we were determined not to let our customers down. Gauging the reaction of all our customers today, we know that all that hard work was well worth the wait. We've been very impressed by the loyalty of all our customers who have continued to visit us despite the extensive disruption over the past few months, as the buildings were demolished and rebuilt. The project included a large outdoor plant sales area with extensive, specially made, tantalized timber benching by Stagecraft Limited. There was automatic irrigation for the plants. The outdoor cafe area was on timber decking with fully retractable blue fabric overhead sunshade awnings, specially manufactured in Italy. There was also the car park for 201 cars and space for six bicycles. Near the entrance was an information desk to greet the customers. High quality bespoke shop fitting was carried out throughout the indoor retail area. The High Street interior design attitude by HPW Partnership now brought boutique retailing 
to an otherwise traditional garden centre. This new design concept brought home and garden ever closer and recognised that the garden was a reflection of lifestyle. The Open Plan Gourmet Café, with 142 covers and theatre cooking, was set up by Dorchester-trained chef and restaurant consultant Sean Denny, using fresh seasonal produce. Back of house, there were customer, staff and disabled toilets and baby change facilities. There were also a goods-in warehouse area, staff facilities and offices. High quality graphic design to point of sales and general signage permeated throughout and included illuminated banners to the glass rotunda. We revisited the buildings 12 years later and were nicely surprised that they were still standing relatively unchanged and unspoilt, possibly because of the stringent planning restrictions. The site was now owned by Squires Garden Centres, a family owned garden centre group with some 15 garden centres across West London, Surrey, Berkshire and Sussex. The interior, however, had changed enormously and looked like any other traditional garden centre. It had sadly lost most of the earlier design concept and the high street quality boutique interior designer merchandising and graphics.